Okay, we'll do the ends now. So we're going to set that up for four inches, I believe. Four, a little over four, four and one sixteenth, probably. Yeah, so we got that set up for four and one sixteenth. And I got one done, or run through. So we'll run through the other one. The juniper is really hard stuff, larch. The reason why I left this uh, right here is I want to get the difference in the, the grain. Uh, looks nice. Okay. Take a sixteenth of an inch off the end. As I made it four and one sixteenth. Yeah, I it. Just to use the box there, four inches, four inches. So I, want, I don't want to lose that knot. I'm going to keep that knot in there. It makes it look nice. So I'm going to square off the bottom edge of this one and uh, and do that all over. Okay, so I got the knot left there again now. So, uh, inches. <clears throat> Just go by guess. That's the outline of the, uh, so I'll cut that out now. Okay, I'm going to cut out this, uh, the end for the toolbox. You know? So that's the end of the box. Two like that. There's a little trick there now. This is where the notch got to be. So you just scribe a mark in there with a cut, with a with a utility knife or whatever, along that line right there, and the jointer won't uh, won't uh, crack.
take a mark across that way and you shouldn't split it off really so just all you're doing is just scribing the little mark so just ran that through on the on the jointer made the notch there and that little scribe mark right there stopped it from from splitting so I got two of those to do Okay, I'm gluing it. I've got it all glued up here now. I'm putting it together. <clears throat> you want a wet rag close by to get the excess glue wiped off. This is a nice little project for grandfathers. And there we go. Now all we need now is a couple of clamps. I haven't got a big lot of clamps. Anyway, ratchet strap works pretty good. Okay, now I got to make the uh, handle. So what I'll do, I'll take this piece and run that through about probably half an inch or so. Put a few grooves in it there for his hand, fingers and stuff. And I'll just nail it across the top. Bread nail it. Okay, I'll run that through now. Three quarters of an inch wood. Three quarters of an inch wood. Okay, I got that little piece handle put in. All I did, I just uh, sawed that piece down three quarters of an inch and uh, glued the two ends and brad nailed it in. So, and I got the first coat of uh, polyurethane on. And what I'm using is. Uh, Minwax polyurethane is fast, fast drying, and that's really nice stuff. Um, probably two or three coats on there.
This is a piece of the Newfoundland wall cherry with, with polyurethane on it. You can see the beautiful wood that is good for projects, but you got to watch the splits, cracks. There's a little toolbox now that I'm making for uh, for my grandson, Spencer. You don't know about this one yet, so anyway. It's made out of Newfoundland juniper or larch. A little project takes a day to do pretty well. 